third level to explore the whole level like this. At least that's how I look at that. I think that this is like third level uh, of height. And then we will actually explore past that log a bit later. We explored this whole area in here, which is nice. I don't know if there are wolves in right here somewhere next to me. But I grab this rabbit and let's just get back there. Oh, how this deer. This parkour deer. Wait, there is a way up there, actually. Did I go there last time? I think I never went up there. Wait a second. Let me see. What did I miss? What did I miss in here? Wow. This deer showed me the way. Dear, please show me the way, you know. Uh, okay, wow. Does this just loop around in this place or what? What is that? Okay, just some wood. Okay, wow. So this just basically loops around. That's a shortcut for the same area. Okay, good to know. We have here a shortcut. That's, that's about it. This works just as a shortcut. Nothing more. Uh, and then here we should be able to parkour down this easily. I don't feel like going all the way around, so that's why I'm just parkouring down. Uh, yeah, so it's easy to parkour down here. I'm just basically right now clicking right, left, right, left, right, left. Now what I could do is maybe enable scribe for you guys as well. If you, but wait, I don't know if you'll be able to see it anyways. Uh, yeah, you won't be able to see then never mind. I won't really capture it. That doesn't matter. Kind of wanted to show you how, how we would parkour down just what I'm holding with buttons I'm pressing, but then again, it's just too distracting. There is no need for you to see that. Oh, ptarmigans are back. So now we can harvest that rabbit and ptarmigans. So by the looks of it, those ptarmigans, they get back, but then if you if you don't kill all of them, they come back. Okay, nice. So far we got all of them. They come back after like one day. Uh, but once you get all of them, then it takes some time for them to spawn. Okay, that's nice. Let's go inside, warm up. So yeah, as long as uh, as long as cabin fever is not a thing, we will be fine. And yeah, so here we go, we got some more meat, so let's just harvest this thing. And then again, just keep on collecting sticks, just keep on gathering sticks. And eventually I'll make a huge fire, I'll boil a lot of water, and then I will save a lot of matches. I am way better at, man uh, at managing my matches right now. Uh, actually, maybe I do want to eat even during the day, to be honest. Huh, maybe I could even go for like well fed. It doesn't really matter. We got so much food, anyways. But then again, I'm kind of afraid. What if, you know, what if I start running out of it? So maybe I'll just, I don't know, I'll just eat. <laughs> I don't know. Starvation tactic probably is a better choice. Okay, I will actually harvest all that stuff from this rabbit. It's going to take me a while. But it's fine, because I am warming up in here, in this cave. So I have enough time to just harvest everything and then warm up. Okay, that seems good. And let's go ahead and harvest this ptarmigan as well. Uh, in worst case, if this uh, Hexo gets damaged, I do have another one. I found it. So I could just simply go ahead and use, start using that one. So that's not a problem. All right, so yeah, uh, we might, yeah, I after I'm done harvesting this one, I will head out and I will search for some sticks. Uh, yeah, just again, gathering wood, you know, and I'm harvesting everything like this in pieces, like in half kilograms, like I said before. It's because when I'll be cooking everything, I will increase my cooking skill as well as I'm right now increasing my carcass harvesting skill. I won't, I, I don't need those, um, uh, those feathers from ptarmigans, again, just because everything else requires cloth and it's probably basically impossible to get. 
it's really hard to get clocked in HRV. That's the thing. And now again, I will drink tea again, just instead of water, because I am running low on matches. Uh, let's see how many teas do we still have. Okay, yeah. So that's uh, that's red zone. I don't need to touch any more of that. Okay, so how much water? A half a liter. Okay. I guess it's fine, but still, I will need to make a fire soon. So I better get a lot of matches. Ooh, so this is really warm outside. You know what that means. How... What is my, the percentage of Hexel? 86%. Oh, wow, only minus 7. I could explore a lot. But you know what we are going to do? I feel like for some reason the... The weather might just flip on us. Wait, what were we carrying? Uh, okay, uh, that's why we smelled. So, you know what we are going to do? This. That's what we are going to do. Even when it's not too cold, you see how much basically cold damage we took. Even from, from that. This much hypothermia. Uh, but this is good. This is good stuff. This is really good wood. And yeah, again, after I sleep, I will recover most of my health when I sleep right now. So there is no really need for me to uh, stress about my health. I can just leverage my health with sleeping and regenerating my health. Okay, maybe tomorrow I will make a long, long fire and I will boil a lot of water as much as I can. <clears throat> That's what I will do. Uh... It would be nice to just go through this cave and see maybe some coal respawn. Uh, that would be really cool as well if we could get some more coal. Now I would probably save my coal. How many sticks do we have right now? Uh, 26 and I dropped like 20 and then 3 pieces of cedar wood. It's, it's debatable whether I have enough fire to make a, enough uh, wood to make a decent length fire. Hmm. Yeah, but we are running out of water. Do we have anything else to drink? Oh, but we have these purification tablets. Now, <laughs> if someone's watching, please remind me to use those purification tablets. <laughs> While I, when I make a fire, because I might forget. Uh, to be honest, I could make a fire right now and make everything and then tomorrow sleep and just head out during the evening tomorrow. That could be a thing that I can do. And now uh, campfires burn longer outside. So I should definitely consider making campfire outside. But what if it blows out? Now that's the biggest thing. So I don't know. Maybe I should even make it in some sort of a cave outside. Not in this one because this counts as in indoors. Maybe I should head down to a lower level. And maybe I should make my fire somewhere in there. Uh, that's a good idea. But then I, I still kind of feel like I need to do it the next day because right now I'm freezing. Uh, unless we go down the scale, exit in the middle floor, right? And then I just turn around and I'm pretty sure that there is a cave right to the left of me. But then it will be hard to cross this cave. Uh, so, let's just sleep, I don't know, 56%, remember that, so fix 56%, maybe I'll just get down there even during night time, I don't know. So 56% right there, or maybe I'll just do that tomorrow during the day, I'll just pick everything up, go there and just cook everything. 56%, uh, alright. I do need to get a bit more tired though. Hmm, yeah, let's pick up this. And I will see if maybe I can craft something. No. Uh, oh yeah, wait a second. I can craft a torch. Okay, <laughs> I would never waste my cloth on that. Uh, bandages could be useful as well. Um, yeah, I got nothing to do basically. Like, the only option is to just pass time for me in order to get tired. So right now I will. I am recovering health very slowly. You see, it's going up like. Boom, yeah. And so I'm getting tired, but then I will just simply go ahead and sleep. And while I sleep, I will recover more health, because that's how it works. Uh, do I have enough water, though, though for, for that?
If I can, I will go out and see how it's cold so it is. Okay, so it's quite cold. I can't get too much uh, wood, but I'll try to get at least some wood. Maybe I'll find some some branch which I could break down. Okay, that's cedar limb. I can't break that down. Purely because I will freeze too much. I don't want to freeze too much. Uh, it would be nice if I could find just a one branch. One branch would do for me. Uh, yeah. Oh wow. <laughs> that was a little bit higher of a jump than, I, than what I expected. Okay, no branches near me. Uh, wherever then. <clears throat> if we can't find that, we can't find that. And I'm basically approaching zone where I will need to sleep. L let's drink this water. And we will, de we will need a lot of water, so let's drink that. And sadly, we will have to drink this tea as well. And sleep for 10 hours. Uh -uh -uh, where can I place my bedroll? Uh, right there, nice. Now we don't have enough food, so let me eat some, some cattails. Uh, faster way to eat cattails is just, is just enter this menu and hit eat a few times. Yeah, I won't do um, well fed. Starvation tactic is fine because we are running through those uh, cattails quite quickly actually. 